Who are you supposed to be? A yoga instructor? Go on through. So then, so then the WAP says to the Polak, if I wanted tits, I'd have beat up the nip in the black guy's hat. <laughs> <laughs> Here. You're the one who made the news last night, huh? Well, the police can always use the help of concerned citizens. I guess we can give our little junior detective a special kitty case to work on. All right, listen up. There's somebody new to town, shaking up the crime families. This is a real bad dude. A kingpin of crime who wants to control all the drugs in the city. We've tracked him to this location here. I need you to go in and neutralize him. You lead point, my boys will be there after. If you take out the drug kingpin, we'll give you this junior detective badge. Pretty neat, huh? Now get out there! Okay, you're approaching the hideout. Find a way in, but be careful. He's probably armed to the teeth. Thermal imaging is showing the suspect is in the rear of the house. You should have him in sight. Hey, who are you? What are you doing in my house? Engage! Engage! I don't know what you're doing in my house. Stand your ground. Who the hell are you? <laughs> oh, what's wrong with you? Holy shit, you're the real deal, superhero. That's one less violent degenerate this town has to deal with. Please come by and help us again. Oh my god, I have so much homework tonight! Looks like your butt can do some crazy shit! Maybe you can use your farts to pause time! Have fun! Oh, great. Thanks for coming. Have a seat. Now, I got some, uh, I mean, about gender wasn't uh, precise enough. And, uh, well, he, he gave me some guidelines how to do a more uh, uh, thorough pass, helping you identify your gender. Okay. Is the gender that you were assigned with at birth the gender that you currently identify with? Okay. Okay, great. So, as you know, that means that you're cisgendered. Okay, great. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you about with your gender is your sexuality. Now, a lot of people think that gender and sexuality are the same, but no, that's bi. That's wrong. It's bi. Okay. Now, how would you describe the sex of the kinds of people you find yourself, uh, sexually attracted to? Okay, so that makes you straight or heterosexual. Okay. Well, I'm really glad we had this talk, okay? Just be careful, okay? Because there's, there's a lot of people out there who don't accept you for what you are, and then you're going to have to deal with them, okay? So, uh, but come see me anytime.
parents totally drank too much last night. It was a Hey, it's that boy! Yeah, they're cisgendered! And they're heterosexual, too. We don't take kindly to your types around here. Let's welcome this thing to our town. We don't take kindly to your types around here. What are you supposed to be? A rodeo clown? Go on through. Hey, little crime stopper, back for more? I got something you might be interested in. Turns out that scum you fucked up is just the low guy on the totem pole. We now believe the real kingpin is over here, on your phone, that I'm holding right now. Thanks for letting me hold your phone to show you this. He's hiding out in some big luxury mansion bought with blood money, scumbag. This is a whole nother level, little crime fighter. His house is like a fortress. Every window and door is wired to a state-of-the-art, high-tech security system. You'll need this. This mobile hacking device will help you bypass the security system. Good hunting, hero. I hear you're doing some off-the-books police work, Vigilante. Nice. What a productive day. Maybe it's our lucky day, superhero. Looks like the guard is on a piss break or something. Proceed past the gate and around the back to find an entry point. Not this time, sir. Not this time. Please move the fuck along, or I will fuck you up non-lethally. I will beat you until my shift is over, sir. I will not be humiliated again. This time I got backup. Okay, quick, superhero, answer the phone and use your hacking device. Hello, this is Jeff with Wolf Home Security. Is everything all right? Hello, yes, sorry, I live here and I can't remember my code to turn off the dang alarm. Oh, that's okay, sir. Do you have your security password you can tell me? Is everything all right? Can you hear me? Can you hold on just a minute? Uh, yes, no problem. I've got it right here. Hang on a second. Dang it, let me look in. Oh, wrong drawer. Can you hold on just a minute? I'm sorry. No problem, sir. Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Can you hold on just a minute? Did you maybe write the password down anywhere, sir? Like a notepad or something? Yes, yes, must be something. Let's see. Let me check in this drawer. Ah, looks like they need to find my glasses here. Hold on. Can you hear me? Can you hold on just a minute?
Maybe it's my middle name? Could you, could you try my middle name? Okay, sir, I tell you what, let's just look up your account profile and get a new password for you. If you can just hang on a line here. Don't be fooled by his attempts at upper middle class sensibility. Oldest trick in the book. Careful with this one, hero. He's got a temper on him. Choose your moment now. Hey, who the hell are you? You can't just break in here. Engage! Go, go, go! I have a security system, you know. Ooh, home invasion! Brilliant work, hero. You're really getting into the program. You understand exactly what we're doing, and you're doing it right along with us. Meet me back at the station. I've got something for you. When you give that to Tweak, you make sure he knows that when you walk out on someone, you don't get to make up the rules anymore. Hello, welcome to Tweak Coffee. What can I interest you in today? Oh, he finally decided to be reasonable, huh? Fine. Here's a stupid laptop. Oh, hello, uh, new kid, right? Listen, I see you're really trying hard to get my son and his boyfriend back together, and, well, I so appreciate it. Having a gay son is really good for the coffee business. I think all they need is a little relationship counseling. Could you give this to Craig? Maybe together we can both help them out, huh? Where is it? Counseling? Tweak wants me to go to counseling with him? No way. Tell him there's no way I'll go to counseling unless you go too. I need my support team. Who are you supposed to be? A yoga instructor? Go on through. Good work on clearing that kingpin, little crime stopper. I wish I had a hundred more like you on the force. You got gumption, crime stopper. Huddle up, it's selfie time. Aha, now I can monitor you on the internet. Rookie mistake, superhero. I'm mildly impressed with the progress you're making. Come to the coon lair. I've got a little surprise for you. Coon out. Bubbles. Fast. No, 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 no. We can't do the Super Craig movie before the Human Kite Netflix series, guys. That doesn't make any sense. Well, what about introducing Super Craig in the second Coon and Friends movie? That'd be pretty DC Comics of us. I wouldn't recommend it. Ah, Butt Lord, please have a seat. Sorry, guys. Can I have a moment with Butt Lord, please? Sure thing. Come on, fast pass. Right behind you, Mosquito. But, Lord, I just wanted to let you know that we've decided to let you have your own Netflix series right after the Fast Pass Fox miniseries and the third Coon and Friends United movie. Congratulations. Okay, well, get out there and finish your goals. Just, uh, wanted to tell you the exciting news. What do you want, new kid? I already let you dual class. There's nothing left to talk about. Oh, no. No, 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 no. You are not going to have three classes. New kid? New kid, no, do not give me those sad puppy eyes. Nobody gets to be three classes. It, you think that just because you had to live through your dad fucking your mom, you should get all the sympathy in the world, don't you? <sighs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring that up. All right, all right, fine. If you were going to add another class, what would it be? Assassin. 
Gadgeteer. Assassin. An assassin. Not sure if you're cool enough, but whatever. Okay, but if you're gonna be triple class, then we have to change your backstory. It is pretty dumb. Let's go back in time again. Back to when you were just a child. You couldn't sleep that night, but it was because you saw strange lights in the sky. You walked to the mirror. And in the mirror you saw a kid who maybe wasn't from this world. And that's when you heard it. Strange alien sounds from the hallway. You walked out and saw two intruders and an alien in your house. You had to stop them, so you called upon your new powers. As an assassin hero, you sharpened your blades and prepared to do what you do best. Kill. Wasting no time, you drew first blood with a quick cut attack on the nearest foe. <laughs> Bloodied, your target called for his companions to aid him. Hey, that kid has a knife. Oh, shit, seriously? Even as he lost blood, the intruder swung his crowbar wildly at your face. Uh. You needed to get out of the fray and back into the shadows. Get back into the shadows now, okay? Hey, where'd that little shit go? Bewildered, the villain searched for any trace of your whereabouts. I got a bad feeling about this. Ugh. You stealthily crept into position to execute your next move. Your spin slash sent a fury of piercing knives in all directions. This is for my fellow home invader! Mortally wounded, the last standing foe charged at you and let loose a blood-fueled onslaught! <laughs> she was do or die. You were him! See what hit him as he slinked back into the shadows. That kid's like some kind of super assassin. The alien took you by the hand and led you into a dark room. And that's when you saw that your dad had just fucked your mom. Whoa, boy, that is pretty tragic, new kid. I'm so sorry. Were the aliens helping you by showing you who fucked your mom, or were they trying to make you full of rage? You might never know. All right, get back out there, Butt Lord. You still have a lot of things to do. New kid, this is Fast Pass. Get to the playground. One of the Freedom Pals is calling us out. You're sure one of the Freedom Pals wants to meet with us? Yeah, his tech said it was very urgent. Yeah, but why would the Freedom Pals want to talk to us? Unless this is some kind of trap. Relax, Coon friends. I didn't come to fight. Hello, Toolshed. Long time no see. Toolshed is a gadgeteer class visionary archetype. And a butt-fucking traitor. Just listen to me. I understand that the new kid helped take my dad's keys last night. New kid, I don't know why you were looking out for my dad, but I owe you one. That's all I came to say. You might be in the wrong franchise, but if you ever need help, I'll return the favor. <laughs> oh, oh, you think the new kid fucking cares about you? You belong to a loser zero-income franchise that's run by a douchebag in a wheelchair! At least he's not a fat little phone stealer. Oh, not him again. Timmy! You call us losers when the only way you can get a lead is to steal it? Where is Dr. Timothy's phone? Sorry, Freedom Pussies. That info is classified. <laughs> you guys need to stop investigating the Chamber of Commerce and leave it to the professional superheroes. Oh, yeah, you guys are the professional superheroes. 
it just so happens, Mysterion, that we already have a connection with Netflix. No, you don't. Yes, we do. We're just about to get the Human Kite Netflix series off the ground, so... No, Timmy, no. No, stop it. Stop, stop, stop it, Timmy! He's trying to rape my mind! Ah! Ah! They don't have a connection at Netflix. Freedom Pals just raped my mind, you guys! Let's get these pedophiles! Coon and friends assemble! Freedom Pals, unite! Civil War II, it's going down! You're outmatched. Give up before you embarrass yourselves! Oh yeah! Oh yeah, that is twice we kicked your asses! You guys are nothing without the new kid, and you know it! New kid, my offer stands. I still owe you one. And if you ever want to be part of a real franchise, just call me. Yeah, right! You guys are DC Comics, we're Marvel! Fucking asshole, you guys have Zack Snyder direct your fucking movies. Hey, that was some pretty good PC police work, kid. Way to take advantage of those motherfuckers' microaggressions. Come back to the brew pub. I think we can discuss your race and ethnicity now. You have potential, kid. I'm glad to have you in town. Now let's discuss your race and ethnicity. Let's determine exactly what you are. Asian. Dane, race and ethnicity are very different things. Nice. It's your many splendor journey. You see? That wasn't hard, was it? Now that you know how to define yourself, you can go back to making people pay for not identifying you and others correctly. I'm glad I know a little more about you, kid. Now get out there and kick some ass. Gosh, darn it, I don't think that vigilante's setting a good example for the young folks. Attention all coon friends! We have the information we need and are ready for our next mission. Everyone report to the coon lair immediately. Coon at! Captain Dabby! There you are. Jesus, took you long enough. Have a seat, Butt Lord. All right, everyone. Butt Lord interrogated Classy and found out our next lead is at the U store it here in town. We need to infiltrate it tonight. It can't be done. Why not, Mosquito? Because the U-Stored entrance is all lava. The whole thing is fucking lava? Shit! There has to be a way to get past it. There is... Tool Shed. Tool Shed? What's that donkey fucker have to do with anything? Tool Shed has a device that clears lava, remember? It's one of his superpowers. Hey, and Tool Shed said that he owes the new kid a favor. Well, looks like you're gonna come in handy again, Butt Lord. Super Craig, write an anonymous email to Tool Shed. Tell him the new kid is ready to have his favor returned. Everyone else, go home and get in bed. We meet at the U store it tonight. To bed, everybody. Coon friends are on the case. Go on home, Butt Lord. If all goes according to plan, Tool Shed will meet up with you later. Just be careful. Tool Shed is a two faced, backstabbing butt sniffer. Well, the puppet runs. Let's go to the Mars of Rabble, 
Why would you tell the school principal what race we are? I didn't tell him. Our child did. But you confirmed it when the principal called you. How long before they find out everything? Our little boy is hurting. Don't you get it? He's asking questions about his race and sexual orientation because he's confused. Confusion was the point. The more our child learns about the truth, the more dangerous it becomes, you stupid whore. Uh, hey, look who's here. Been out playing, little squirt? <laughs> Your dinner is on the table, pumpkin, then straight to bed. You have school tomorrow. <laughs> school tomorrow. <laughs> Don't even think of getting high right now. Hey, kiddo, listen, I know we never talked about it, but your mother and I are very proud Danes. Night-night, punk. Night falls upon the town like a fat, slimy turd. The stink of greed, corruption, and crime rises from the gutters and fills the streets. Only one thing can deal with fat turds. Coon and friends. Hashtag, fuck freedom pals. On my watch, damn it. It's not safe. They're out there. So, we meet again, new kid. I have to put our petty differences aside. There's something happening to this city, and it needs tool shed. Well, follow me to Professor Chaos's lair. You'll probably want to know about my superhero backstory. You see, when I was just a child, my father was in the garage working on a project. There was a huge storm, and lightning blew my father off his workbench. I ran to help him, but at that moment, another blast somehow fused his power tools onto my body. I became a superhero while my father was left mentally impaired. There you go, you fucking bitch! Why don't you, why don't you just, just take a shit in your face? Take this, you dumb whore! Randy, get in here right now and stop keying my car! Okay. But this is different. My father's acting even stupider than ever before. Perhaps Toolshed wants to help his father because he feels he could have saved him all those years ago. <laughs> what is your backstory? Did something happen with your parents too? That's okay if you don't want to talk about it. It must be very painful. This is the home of Mysterion. He has a shortcut to the north of town. In this area, you might notice the intense urine smell. Did you know human urine works as a fertilizer for marijuana cultivation? Smells like somebody cultivated on that couch. Son of a bitch. Because you didn't buy the fucking meth, I did. You bought the meth with our fucking wealth? 
Get me back to fucking pipe, Carol. Fuck you, I'm smoking it. You're not smoking my fucking ice. Fuck you, I'm smoking it. Now I can show you Toolshed's most mighty tool, the Sand Blaster. Yeah, I think Kenny's family used that to heat up their TV dinners. With the force it generates, it can clear nearly any obstacle. Turn it on and I'll show you my... This is Mysterion's secret tunnel. Uh-oh, these guys are blocking our path. There's gotta be a way to get through them. What are you kids doing? All right, you kid. I guess the two of us have to drill through these guys. Drill through these guys was supposed to be like a tool thing. I guess it was kind of a stretch. There's just only so many tool-based one-liners in the world, you know? We're gonna turn the screws on these guys. How's that? I'll workshop it later. They're here! Coon friends are simple. Well, well, the butt-fucking traitor actually showed up. Hey, whoa, whoa, nah uh I said I'd help the new kid, not you, losers. Yeah, well, the new kid is a coon friend, and coon friends work together, douche. Come on, we need to get inside this fence. Yeah, tool shit, that's what the new kid wants. Fine. As long as there's a power generator nearby, I can use my dad's sandblaster to clear almost any obstacle. Wow, that is good. Fantastic. Friends, let's go! Let's get one thing straight, Shed. I don't trust you. You make one move out of line and I'll shred you. I'm only here for the new kid, fat ass. After tonight, we're sworn enemies again. All right, Classy said the cats all go to one of these storage facilities. Everyone fan out. Here, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, 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 meow, meow. Here, kitty, kitty! I can't see, Toolshed. I need more of a boost. I thought being a kite meant you could... And I thought being a kite meant you'd be lighter? That is a kite stereotype. You here, kitty? I don't think there's any cats in here. Eric? What'd you find? The fuck? <laughs> Hello, coon friends. Coon and friends. Come into my parlor. I've bought more tinfoil and more minions than you can possibly fathom. I've been given $20,000 to keep nosy people away from this place. What? $20,000 just to keep people from snooping around. But I only need a few hundred for that. So you know what I'm gonna do with all the rest? Go to Paris and get a penile enhancement and fuck French chicks? Super Craig. Wrong! I'm going to destroy this town and prove that I'm the bad guy, not this new kingpin jerkhead. So long, coon friends. Minions? 
no, minions, you gotta kill them. Ah, dang it. God damn it. All right, let's just find what we're looking for and get out of here. Welcome to my lair of unspeakable chaos and horror. <laughs> Here, kitty kitty. Oh, hey, dude. Meow? Meow? <laughs> You'll never make it through my impenetrable fortress! Someone say diabetes? Yeah, you just tip that thing into our path, dude. Fear not, toolshed. Butthole will use his amazing time powers. See? Huh? Don't forget that I have cool powers too. really think I wouldn't have a backup plan, did you? Do you not comprehend how many minions $20,000 can buy? Butters, will you just go home? We're trying to find a missing cat. I don't think so, coon friends. Butters, actually, if somebody gave you a bunch of money, by law, that money belongs to our franchise. All of us. Oh, no, you see, more cash means more minions. Let's see how you handle this. <laughs> Our master bids us to spread chaos. Go now, my minions. It is time for my enemy's demise. You can't defeat them all. That's almost all of them. Ha 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 ha! Wrong again, Coon. Oh, fuck. What now? With all my new funding, I found an even greater source of minions, all who are willing to work for extremely reasonable salary. Vamanos, minions! Destroy the Coon friends! Coon and friends! All right, boys, we can't just sit here and let him keep messing up our team name. It's Coon time. This little gringo is muy malo. Si, sí, but he's paying buen dinero, so... Is that the last of them? God only knows. You guys take the alley over there. Super Craig and I are hitting the rooftops.
Why would Chaos want to wrap an entire truck in aluminum foil? That's not the problem! Is aluminum foil really what you guys are concerned with? Who the fuck is that? You were right about the Italian restaurant, new kid. The owner is a part of a new crime syndicate. Who the fuck is that? I have no idea. Well, she's not in the union. Excuse me, are you on Instagram? There's someone new in town who's bringing all the crime families together. Okay, cool. Thank you. Bye. Y you mean like a kingpin? You guys do not say anything. We're not playing with her. Check out storage facility 56D, new kid. And here, take this. Call me if you need me. I think you're gonna need all the help you can get. So I guess now any fucking asshole thinks they can be a superhero. Come on, let's just find scrambles and be done. This way's blocked and there's no air compressor. We'll have to find a different route. It's kind of lame to have a superpower that only works when an air compressor is around. This is Legend of Zelda, dude. Fuck you, coon. Here, use this. I don't see anyone else around here with the power to move lava, coon. Pretty good box moving, new kid. That's a nice box you got there, though. Sturdy. Oh, now we can keep going. Amazing box work right there. Real clutch. You guys see Scrambos here? Oh shit, lava! <laughs> Can you stop fucking around, Chaos? Not Professor Chaos, his partner in crime. General Disarray! Careful, he's a ginge. Do you know what Professor Chaos has planned for this city? Look kid, you and Butters are taking this way too far. Yeah, it's time to teach you a lesson. That won't be as easy as you think. Partner, look out! Vengeance! Babados! You have no choice, Code Freds. The floor is lava, or at least it will be soon. <laughs> Kneel before. Don't worry about the minions. Just take out the general. Moving. I think that's the last of them. Don't count on it. We should make a- wait, wait, Super Craig? Oh my god, Super Craig? Super Craig, just hold tight! Shit, there's no air compressor here, no way I can remove that lava! Hang on, Super Craig, we're gonna find something to plug Tool Shed Sand Blaster into. You and I both know I'm already dead. No, Super Craig! We're gonna find a way to save you! Do something, Tool Shed! There's nothing here, my Sand Blaster needs compressed air to work! Get the one from the entrance. The gate slammed and locked shut, remember? It's okay, guys. We all knew when we signed on to be Coon friends that it might end like this. Stay calm, Super Craig. We're gonna get you home. Sorry, Coon, but it looks like this was a one-way trip. No, Super Craig, no! I'm starting to remember things of my past. Things I regret. People I wish I'd been kinder to. Somebody get a goddamn air compressor! <laughs> 